Hello everyone. So in this video, we're gonna go through uh, at one of the ways you can download an online streaming video recording. So uh, this happens for maybe uh, online webinars. After the webinar is concluded, uh, a recording might be still available. Uh, however, uh, these recordings on uh, one of the platforms, for instance, uh, this platform that we are viewing today uh, on 24, uh, it uh, it would allow you to view the recording later on after the live is uh, concluded. Um, for me, uh, for this purpose actually, for me, it did not work best for me to view the recording uh, on the platform uh, due to many things. Uh, one of them is the uh, connectivity, the internet connectivity. Uh, other things include also that it's not the most convenient thing because sometimes I might, I might want to be uh, viewing this content while I'm not connected to the internet. So, uh, here comes uh, what I found out with a bit of research that uh, these online streaming videos can be downloaded. Uh, it's not very straightforward, however, when you do uh, manage to get these videos, and for me it's been much better and easier uh, to be able to watch them later on uh, they are, when they're downloaded on my uh, hard drive. So uh, this method uh, includes the use of a Python uh, package uh, YouTube downloader or YouTube-D add and it includes also the use of another package that is uh, FFmpeg and we'll go through uh, downloading and installing these packages now uh, step by step. If you already have these packages I'll leave the timestamps of the video down there for you so that you can skip uh, the parts that are not relevant. Okay, so uh, the first step we'll need to take is to download uh, Python, uh, the latest version currently, it's 3.9.3. Uh, and in order to get there, we, we initially go to uh, python.org and then we click on downloads. And maybe you can choose from here which operating system we have or platform. Um, and then, or maybe you can just click on downloads and then it will take us to this page. And here we're gonna just scroll down um, we'll find the files section down there and here we'll just choose the installer that suits us best. In my case here I chose Windows installer um, 64 bat and it downloaded right here and then I'm just gonna open file. Uh, it's important at this point to tick uh, this option to add Python 3.9 to path and when we do so we can click on install now. It would give us uh, this prompt, we'll click yes. You'll have to install this as an administrator. Okay, so uh, once it's done, it would take us here. And saying setup was successful. Uh, you might want to disable uh, path length limit. That's something you might want to do at this point. It might help us avoid some future hassle. So yeah, let's close that. Okay, so now that we have installed Python, I just want to make sure it was installed successfully. So uh, we're going to get to the command prompt. And we're going to type Python. That's great. Well, normally if Python was, was not installed, it would not have gotten us into its uh, repo. So we're just going to exit that. And another thing we would want or we would need in order to proceed is to have a pep. So uh, pep it's a it's an in a package installer mainly. Um, so in order to check whether pep is already installed or not, we're gonna click on uh, pep help. We're, we're gonna type uh, pep help, and we're gonna see whether that comes up with anything. And yeah, as we see, uh, pep is already installed. Uh, the next thing we're gonna need is uh, for uh, a package to be installed, which is uh, YouTube Downloader. Um, it's uh, YouTube-DL and stands for YouTube Downloader. So uh, we'll first check if by any chance we already have that. So uh, to do so, we're just gonna type in YouTube-DL-H for help. And it would uh, give us back this message that it's not recognized. So we're going to make use of uh, pip to install that package. And we're going to do that by the command pip install youtube dash dl. 
You see it's downloading and it's gonna install that package for us. Quite straightforward. Okay, we, we see here also this message. It's um, it's not compulsory or anything. However, it's recommended that uh, we recommend we upgrade uh, PEP if it says so. So uh, given that, we might as well like just copy this command. But we might also use just Python with the M flag and pip install. Upgrade that. Sorry about that. It's gonna upgrade PEP for us so that now we have um, the upgraded PEP and we also have YouTube downloader installed. One more package we're gonna need that is um, in order to uh, merge the video and the audio of the stream, the stream that we're gonna get. And we'll need a package called FFMPEG. If we type that now, we won't find it here. That's not recognized. So we're gonna need to install that. And uh, the way I've tried to install that, it's been by going to their uh, website here, to the download section of their website. You'll find a like, couple of options. We're gonna choose Windows, and we're gonna choose builds from the first developer here. It will take us here to this page and we just scroll down and we'll reach this this path. We'll download this one. So it's now downloaded here. We're just gonna go to that uh, file location. Uh, okay. Uh, yes, that's it. Yes, we're gonna extract it here. Okay, that's great. Once we do extract it here, we're just gonna rename this file to just ffmpg. Yes, and we're gonna take that and place it inside our our uh, C drive. Okay, so uh, once it's moved here, we're gonna get into our PowerShell uh, using uh, the admin privilege by right-clicking on the window sign down at the uh, left bottom corner and when it give us this gives us this prompt we're gonna click on yes and then we're gonna uh, give it this command uh, and we'll sort it with the dot and um, for me I'm gonna sort it with the dot backward slash here uh, for for it to identify this command you might want to try it with or without the uh, first two characters the dot and the backward slash and yes, it did recognize that command. And let's test whether uh, our package here has been added into the path. And we're going to do that by typing uh, the command ffmpeg dash virgin. Hopefully, it would recognize that. Yeah, it did. So here, uh, that means that uh, our package has been installed and has been successfully added into the path. So uh, when the command, like uh, the, the command ffmpeg, was recognized. And that's great, so uh, let's move on to the next bit. Okay, so uh, we'll go to the page uh, where we shall view the recording of the webinar. And um, first thing, uh, just to set the scene for what's gonna happen, we're gonna uh, open up the developer tools, and that's by clicking on F12. And once we do open that, uh, we're gonna go to the network option, and we're gonna choose media. And we're going to go back to the uh, webinar and we're going to refresh the page. And we're going to wait here for the stream link to come up. And here it is. Once it does, we're going to copy the link. This is the link we're going to use to uh, get the video, to download the video. Okay, so now that we have the link, uh, we're going to get into our command prompt. And uh, also having uh, the YouTube downloader and FFMPEG package, we're gonna type uh, our command here that is quite simple actually, just uh, YouTube-DL. And then we're gonna paste uh, the link we've copied here. And we're gonna press enter. There, there might be a um, a warning here if um, in case ffmpeg package was not installed properly 
uh, and that warning would say that uh, it wouldn't merge the video and the audio but since we have uh, properly downloaded uh, and installed uh, the package of uh, for ffmpeg on, pack, on path then uh, this uh, warning is not there and we see that it's starting to download already the video and after that it's gonna download the audio and it's gonna keep the downloaded uh, the final downloaded video along with the audio merged with it uh, in this directory uh, which is in the users folder in uh, your folder like the folder with your name in the users folder you'll find it there and it would be titled prop probably something like this so all we needed in order to do that was for us to have uh, the youtube downloader package and the ffmpeg package to be installed on the system path and for us to be able to get this link to the stream.mpd file this link here uh, is it's the link that we used in order to get hold of the video online and to start downloading it so uh, that concludes our video for today i hope that would be useful and thank you for watching goodbye